Brand Edition, welcome, happy day, hey, guns, liberals, all of that kind of makes the liberals really think that gun control will keep guns away from criminals, I gotta say. That's stupid on steroids, wouldn't you think? Obama gives guns to Syrian terrorists and Mexican drug cartels, but won't give them to American citizens, or better yet, he wants to take them away from American citizens. What's up with that? Here's a sign on the door that I saw just the other day. The door you just kicked in was locked for your protection, not mine. <laughs> That's kind of a nice message. Ha. Women, women and the SEALs. Not those guys, the SEALs. I'm talking about the Navy SEALs. Women now will be allowed to join the Navy SEALs. Finally, they've been trying, or a group of them at least, has been trying to have this accomplished for many, many years now. And the government is saying, hey, girls and guys, they're all coming now on, I think it's June, or in June of 2016. Get ready. One guy says this, one guy being a general, I predict that sexual relationships will occur in field units. Do you think? <laughs> I wonder whatever brought that thought on, huh? Speaking of the military. More military men than women are sexually abused in the ranks each year. A recent survey shows that there's an underreporting of male-on-male -male assaults. That's kind of a shocking stat. I didn't know that. Who would have darn thunk it? And here we're worried about women joining the SEALs. Maybe they're there and they can look after the men. Who would have thunk that? In uh, India, the last telegram was just sent a couple of days ago. That's kind of amazing. Tele telegrams were big deals, you know, many, many years ago. A lot of fortunes were built on that. You had little telegraph offices and people lined up every day to send uh, telegraphs around the world and certainly around the country it was communication. Now the place in India still employs or did up until yesterday 998 people from 75 offices that's what they do in telegrams whereas in 1985 60 million telegrams were sent and received per year in India from 45,000 offices and they employed 12,500 people how things change hey and no more pigeons and no more telegraphs and no more Morse code hey, everybody's using email even in India good thing. In Ottawa, there's a raging scandal going on there with regard to taxpayers and uh, senators. The government in general, the government, they're just ripping everybody off there. Uh, I don't know, they're a little bit out of control. In most countries, I get it, but certainly in Canada more so. But the Senate now, with all of the, the theft things that are going on and no punishment, nobody ever goes to jail or anything else. They get a check and a shirt where they get caught, right? But what's going on now is the Senate said, hey, let's hire speakers to motivate us and to tell ourselves that we're pretty good, right? Okay then, two speakers to <laughs> help us in this upper chamber feel better about ourselves. And the good news is there's been a big uproar about that, even from within their own ranks, they're saying, guys, like, let's stop it, we can't keep doing this, so they've canceled the speakers. We'll see what happens in the next phase of this mess, but here you have an appointed body of people that cost the Canadian taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars per month, and they don't do anything except sit in their red chamber and live it up and abuse the system. Not very nice at all. A group of teens now, recently, this would be from the stupid thief file. This was in the U.S., I believe in California, just outside of L.A. They stole a credit card or stole a woman's purse inside, of course, for credit cards. They used that card to buy tickets to go to the movies. And then they all sat in a picture booth and they took pictures of themselves using her credit card to pay for it, of course, but also holding the card up in the picture and saying, look what we stole, not too bright, hey. So in any event, the police did catch on to that because people will have reported them and said, we have all these people walking around flashing this thing and saying, aren't we smart because look what we got. In Montreal, the interim mayor there talking again about Canada and Canadian politics and politicians, they're all a bunch of scoundrels. And now the mayor, the new mayor that re who replaced the last mayor because he was charged for corruption, now the new mayor who's only been sitting since November, he's the first first Anglophone mayor that they've had in a century. And now, so much for that squeaky clean image. He's now been fired and he's been charged for corruption. What's up with everybody? What's up? What's up? I can't say it enough. It just kind of gives you a headache. They all think when they get elected, they have a license to steal. Kind of makes you think, did they really get elected? Who elects people? The people that, that make the votes or do the votes or the people that count the votes? Just saying. In Madrid, a former treasurer there, in keeping with all the bad talk about politicians, the treasurer there stole 47 million euros. 
call that about 60 million American dollars, right? That's close enough for our conversation, at least 60 million smackaroos. Again, no punishment. All of these guys should be hung a, a little extreme, but they should be dealt with harshly. <laughs> Certainly a lot different than they are now. In Ontario, in Canada, more corruption. The liberals there, they're, they're elected, I guess. The people, I don't know, again, were they really elected or did somebody fix that ballot box? I can't think that the people are so stupid to keep electing these kinds of hoodlums. And now, the chief of staff, the former chief of staff of the former premier, uh, that would be the equivalent of an American governor who resigned amidst a big scandal and everything else. He says, now, I destroyed all the evidence because I'm supposed to. The law says I have to destroy every email and there's a big to-do going on about it. But, oh, oh, by the way, I did turn over 300 emails because I thought that was the right thing to do. <laughs> Again, how about jail? Click, click, hear the noise and you're being led away. Because you know what? Where does this come from? I, I destroy all the stuff that needs to be destroyed and here's 300 things that aren't really relevant just to show that I'm really part of the program. Ah, let me end today on a lighter note. Hey, one guy said to another, my sex life is like a Ferrari. <laughs> and I don't have a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.